Hey, Popeye, at the latest. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. So in today's journey, we are going to be starting at Trial in the parish of Hanover. <laughs> I know, I know we have been enjoying this scenery. We are heading towards Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. So, continue to sit back, continue to relax and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, how many of you remember this? Listen up. Talk radio, Just because you do a lot of talk. RJR's Hotline with Barbara Gludon. We're not just talk, we're substance. Hello, hello. 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 Yes, sir, please go ahead for me. How's the afternoon, Mom? Fine, thank you, sir. Only have one minute, Miss Gludon. So yeah. I'll just tell you that. Life is controlled by how much credit you have on the phone. I think we need a lot of work now. We need to go back to some basics. I see too many wrong, wrong facts in stories. I see too much wrong spelling. I see too much distortion of things. Now, I don't want to be one of these old ladies saying, in my days, I was a good... Uh, go away with that. But there is something to be said for people doing work properly. And part of the thing is that people do not spend the time to do it. Now, that was the unmistakable voice of Mrs. Barbara Gludan. How much of you used to go to pantomime at the Little Theatre in Kingston? Did you know that most of the plays that were being shown at the pantomime, they were written by Mrs. Gludan? Yeah man, Mrs. G, she was a very good playwright. Mrs. G, she was also a talk show host on RJR. She hosted that show for many, many years. Mrs. Gludan, she's from Malvern in the parish of St. Elizabeth and she was 87 years old. Now, Mrs. Gludan, she passed away last night in hospital. Days after her husband, Ansel Gludan, passed away. Mr. Gludan, he was 89 years old. May their souls rest in peace and condolences to their family and their friends. Now, residents of Duncan's Hill in the parish of Chelani, especially the females, please be careful. There is a serial robber in the area. He's going around and he's robbing mostly females of their cell phones and other valuables. We are told that he's armed with a gun. And in the latest incident, he struck last night, Wednesday, May 11th, 2022, about 7.30. We are being told that a lady, she was sitting in her motor car at her gate when this would long. He walked up and put a gun to this lady's head. He proceeded to rob her of her cell phone and cash. Ladies, especially ladies, please be careful. Stay vigilant and stay on the alert. Now, this next incident, it took place early Monday morning. Monday, May 9th, 2022, about some minutes after 1 o'clock. It took place at Land Isle of Phase 6 in the parish of Westmoreland. Our information is that a lady, she runs a shop at the front of the same place where she lives. We are learning that she locked up her shop about 10 o'clock Sunday night. About some minutes after one o'clock in the early morning, we are told that she heard strange sounds inside of this shop. Now, this lady, she had CCTV cameras on the shop. So she checked her footage and there was a hoodlum inside of this lady's shop serving himself an alarm was raised and this hoodlum he ran out of the shop but <laughs> by this time citizens were aware of what was happening and they were out in their numbers so they chased and held this hoodlum we are told that several chap wounds were inflicted all over this hoodlum's body the police they were alerted and they were able to rescue this hoodlum from the angry mob. Some items that he had stolen from the shop were also retrieved by the police. We are told that entry was gained into the shop by this hoodlum removing some plyboard from the back of the shop. Now, this hoodlum, he was taken to the Savannah Lamar Public Hospital where he was treated 
and has since been admitted under police guard. Now, he has since been arrested and charged by the police for shot breaking and larceny. His name is Barrington Wallastan. He's popularly known as Steve and he's 48 years old. He also lives at Landailo in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. So, this hoodlum, he will be going to the courts shortly to face his judgment. <laughs> you know, so I'm lucky though. I'm lucky, you know. Say, I court him ago and not to the morgue. Very, very lucky. Now, this next incident, it took place at a place named Pedlar's Lane. Now, Pedlar's Lane is in the Mount Salem Police area in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. It took place early yesterday morning, Wednesday, May 11th, 2022, about 3 o'clock. So we are learning that a man, he's in his early 40s and he lives at the same Pedlar's Lane. This man, he do a little farming, but he's also a higgler. On a Wednesday, he normally carries some clothes to sell at Falmouth. Yeah man, if you didn't know, if you go to the Falmouth market on a Wednesday, you're surely going to get some good deals. Check it out. <laughs> Ask around. Wednesdays, Falmouth, good deals. So, we are learning that this man, for a while now, he has been involved with frequent disputes with a man named Rasta. Rasta, he lives in the same Peddler's Lane area. So, yesterday morning, about 3 o'clock, this man, he was inside of his yard. Not Rasta we are talking about, you know, the next man. He was inside of his yard. He was in the process of packing up some clothes to go to Falmouth to sell like he normally do on a Wednesday. We are told that this man, he was pounced on by Rasta. It is alleged that Rasta, he was armed with a gun. Bam, 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 bam. It is said that Rasta, he opened a barrage of gunshots at this man. This man, he received gunshot wounds to the center of his chest, his right side and his right hand. Rasta, thinking he has accomplished his task, he then made good his escape on foot in the area. The police were called and this man, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he has since been admitted in a very serious condition. Our information is that when this crime scene was processed, a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The last time we checked, this man, he was still here with us. So let's hope that he stays here with us. And let's also hope that the police, they are able to capture Rasta so he can face his judgment. <laughs> now, this next story, it took place early this morning, Thursday, May 12th, 2022, about 6 o'clock. It took place at Top Darling Street in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. It took place right across from the Tate Cemetery in that vicinity. So we are learning that a young man, he's in his late 20s. He works in the housekeeping department at a hotel in Negril. Our information is that this man, he left his home early this morning to go to work. As usual, he was heading to go and catch the staff bus to carry him to work. When we are told that he was confronted by a hoodlum who was armed with a gun. This hoodlum, he opened gunfire at this man, hitting him to the left side of his neck and his left hand. The hoodlum, he then made good his escape. This man, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he has since been admitted in a serious condition. We are awaiting some more details and we are going to be updating this story. You can stand by for it. Now, this next story, we will be coming back to it in a subsequent video as the information that we are getting, it is still sketchy. But we are learning that that man that you are seeing on your screen, his correct name is Omario Lindo. He was said to be a security officer and he lived in the Burn Savannah area in the parish of Westmoreland. It is said that Omario, he was standing along the True Romain Road in the parish of Westmoreland when a silver color Mark X drove up. 
it is said that hoodlums in the markets they opened gunfire at Omario, hitting him in his head. It is said that he died on the spot. Now, like we said, we will be updating this story in a subsequent video. <laughs> the mayhem. The mayhem. <laughs> so, may I ask you something? Hold on, hold on. May I ask you something? Did you watch the video that I posted this morning with the young lady? Did you see the comment that I pinned to that video? The person who created a fake name, something like John Gatti or something like that, he's accusing me of being disrespectful. <laughs> you, see, you see words? The word disrespectful, it means showing a lack of respect or courtesy. It means being impolite. It means being rude. It also means being discourteous. Now, I don't know how much of you know me, but from I was a boy until now, I have always tried to be respectful. From I was a little boy, I was told, manners carry through the world. And I have taught my children that. Have manners, show respect. I, like everybody else, I have my bad side. But trust me when I tell you, it's not so easy to come out. One thing I will not do is change my style. So, if me have a call a guy, a dirty drunk girl, or a piece of nastiness, or a junk or vomit. May I go do it? If you want to say I come across too strong at times, so be it. But I am who I am. What you are hearing here on YouTube, that's just me. Me no put on, I me no take off. <laughs> you best believe that. One thing I try to do over here, so, apart from being respectful, is I try to be as honest as I can. I try to be as impartial as I can. I try to be as straightforward as I can. You either take it or left it. So, when you go come and comment and say, you are going to leave and other people are going to leave, all I can say to you is, walk good. No book you too. Walk good. <laughs> yeah, man, walk good. There's... There are millions of channels on YouTube, you know. So when you go left, come over here, come try. Pick argument with me. You think it's worth it? It's not like, say, me I pay attention to the negative, you know. But sometimes, we have to sit down and make some people know where we stand. Not true. Yeah, man, sometimes we have to stand up and make some people know where we stand. Because we are here telling people, are asking people to like and subscribe and this and that. If you know want to do it, nobody now put no gun in your head and say do it. Nobody now come and force you and say, come over Papa and News Links, come watch what I do. Nobody now do it. So if you come over here, <laughs> if you come over here, enough respect, but don't expect for come here. Come say what you feel like. And feel like say, this guy, eh? I go to sit down and make you say, what you feel for say, and then move on. It no work so. If you want to say, I am being disrespectful, that's up to you. I know. That I no disrespect people. You know, you may come here and cuss no bad word and tell people if you go do this and do that. If me get a video and you have in bad word, me delete it or me bleep it out. That's what I do. That's my style. Now I'm gonna change. Say what you want, but no come here with your foolishness. So me ask you something again. <laughs> Only hit on the like button, not true. Okay, you do it already? Cool. So you subscribe already? Oh, you have not yet done it? So, why are you wait pan? Why are you wait pan for subscribe? Am I sounding disrespectful? <laughs> eh? I, I am? I have a weird sense of humor, you know. A very weird sense of humor. And over time, if you come here and watch one, one or two video, you're not going to get it. But my dear one subscribers, they know what I stand for. Now I'm going to change. My style is my style. In the final story for today, this one took place early this morning thursday may 12th 2022 about some minutes after six o'clock it took place at retirement in the little london police area in the parish of westmoreland we are doing some digging and we'll be coming back with an update to this story 
The information we are getting so far is that that man that you are seeing on your screen, his name is Kenroy Parkinson. He was 56 years old and he was a businessman. He lived at retirement in the same little London police area in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that Kenroy, he was at his home this morning when hoodlums went there. They opened gunfire at Kenroy, hitting him to his upper body. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. We are also getting reports that a child who was in the house was also grazed by a bullet. But like we said, we will be updating this story in a subsequent video. In the meantime, the mayhem continues. Blessed love everybody. Tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. With silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, private and mash up Jamaica. Criminals, them are mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica.